Peter Weber's bachelor season has been a wild ride, to say the least. Between the controversy surrounding Victoria Fuller, the super intense fantasy suite dates, and the ultimatum Madison Pruitt gave Peter, we can see why Peter was so convinced that no one would see the ending of his story coming. Mine is definitely unique, and I'm really excited that uh, I'm very confident no one's going to find out the ending. Madison has been an intriguing contestant from the beginning of the show, and it didn't take long for her to emerge as one of Peter's frontrunners. While Peter was impressed by her deep religious convictions, her determination to save herself from marriage made for an emotional and dramatic storyline. While Peter was raised a Christian himself, he admitted that he isn't as religious as Madison is. He told Madison, "...honestly, your faith inspires me so much. I've been raised in a Christian household, and I definitely have faith. I do feel like my faith could be stronger, and I do struggle with that sometimes." In fact, Madison may have actually inspired Peter to become more rooted in his faith. Prior to the Bachelor finale, none other than Justin Bieber revealed that he had seen Peter at his church, Hillsong, leading some to think that this was a sure sign Madison won The Bachelor and that Justin Bieber had spoiled the finale. Madison's official ABC bio reveals just how important it is to her to be with a man who was also religious. It reads, "...she's looking for a man who will prioritize faith and family before everything else. She is hoping to find someone who shares the same religious values that she and her family have. Madison also loves basketball. She led her high school team to four state championships and was named state MVP. Madison gets her basketball skills from her dad, Chad Pruitt, who is a basketball coach at Auburn University. While Peter isn't a basketball player, he is pretty athletic himself. According to the VC star, Peter played on the football team at Oaks Christian High School, which he graduated from in 2009. Pop Sugar reported that the athletically inclined pilot is also into snowboarding and line dancing, although he'll be the first to admit his dance moves could use some work. Just how goofy of a dancer I am, and I totally get that. Very cringe-worthy uh, dance moves sometimes, and has me uh, has me cringing sometimes too. So. Peter showed off his basketball skills on The Bachelor while visiting Auburn with Madison. And it was clear that while Madison is a pro with a basketball, Peter's court skills are pretty lacking. Maybe those awful basketball skills are to blame for the fact that Madison's dad refused to give the pilot his blessing. Well, they couldn't have helped, at least. During Madison's hometown date, it was pretty clear that Madison's parents weren't sold on the idea of having Peter as a son-in-law, in no small part because of the infamous windmill incident on The Bachelorette. Peter has made no secret of the fact that he thinks intimacy is important during dating, and Madison's dad wasn't okay with this. He told Peter that if Peter wanted to propose, he wouldn't have his blessing. In spite of all the ups and downs in their relationship, including the fact that Peter's mom, Barbara, told him that he should choose Hannah Ann Sluice, Peter can't seem to stop his feelings for Madison. Even after she self-eliminated, Peter couldn't fully let go of her. Madison told him, "...I want this so badly, but when you want something so badly, a lot of times you can't see clearly. And as much as we want this, I don't know that we can give each other what we need. We expect such different things." Madison brought up some good points, and and the fact that she respects herself so much and is willing to stand up for herself shows that she's a good match for the flighty Peter. Peter ended up choosing Madison, but not before proposing to Hannah Ann and then breaking off their engagement. Chris Harrison tracked Madison down to tell her about the broken engagement and flew her out to Los Angeles to see Peter, where they confessed they still love each other. Madison told Chris on the After the Final Rose special, "...I love Peter, and that hasn't changed since that day in Australia." Peter, for his part, affirmed his feelings for her, but said he wants to take things, quote, "...one step at a time, one day at a time." While that sounds promising, it's clear that Peter and Madison are going to have to do some major work to move on from this whirlwind bachelor season. Peter and Madison are also going to have to deal with the fact that neither of their families seem to be on board with this relationship. Peter's mom flat out said that things weren't going to work on the After the Final Rose special. Madison was reportedly reluctant to meet the Webbers and made them wait when they flew out to meet her. Barbara said, "...and when she did come in, the whole family, we didn't get an apology from her. When I proceeded to ask her if she was madly in love with my son, she said no and she would not accept a proposal in four days." It's clear that there is some serious beef between these two women, and it could seriously throw a wrench into Madison and Peter's relationship before it even truly gets off the ground.
While Peter and Madison have a lot of challenges in their way, the united front they presented on the After the Final Rose special gives us hope that these two lovebirds will be able to work things out. The pair are clearly in love, and all the complications aside, seem ready to go to bat for each other. Peter demanded that his family give Madison a chance, saying, I can tell you guys that I know how she feels for me, and I know how I feel for her. I just ask that you guys can give her that chance, and trust me, this is something that I love, and I fell in love with. We can only hope they manage to work things out with their families and truly make this a happily ever after. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite reality stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.